So I've been playing music since I was 10. Started playing guitar, and my best friend Dan was teaching me stuff, and um, we both just loved it so much, and it got to the point where we started our own little band when we were 12 years old, and um, I fell in love with writing my own music. Um, it gave me a feeling I can't really describe, but I just, I love it so much. I still love it so much. And, um, yeah, we had, a, we had a few bands growing up, and um, I found that I had a, a natural ability with playing guitar, and so uh, one way or another, I kind of started getting more into playing guitar for other people's music, and um, I really enjoyed it. I still enjoy it, but it got to the point where I think things were kind of out of balance. And um, I, it even got to the point where I moved to Nashville, you know, to play, to play music full time, you know? And I've, I've had some success playing guitar, you know, playing other pl people's stuff. I've toured around the country and um, I've had a great time doing it. But something about the season um, you know, moving to the opposite side of the country. Um, you know, I had a real, a real sense of, um, discontentment and I felt unfulfilled and I kind of had this musical artistic identity crisis. Like, why did I get into music in the first place? You know, it wasn't to play other people's stuff. You know, so why'd I tra trade in my whole life to be the best side man I could possibly be, you know? And yeah, so that was, that was right in the beginning of 2020. And um, I ended up coming back home and realizing how important, again, uh, re-realizing maybe how important my own music is to me and being an artist. Yeah.
so I came back home and I had all these songs worked up and I was just sick and tired of waiting for what seemed like no reason, you know? Um, waiting for the stars to align, waiting for permission to do what I want to do. And so I had no band, um, no outlet, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do with all this music, but I had all this music that I love and I cared a lot about. And I was just like, yeah, I can just put out an album, you know? There's nothing stopping me from doing that. So I kind of formed Kenyon and um, I threw together all, all these all these songs that I had and um, that ended up being Life is Death.
thing I had to do was bring the music to life. Everything I write is full band. I love a bunch of instrumentation and stuff like that. And um, Dan, who's playing guitar in the band, he's been my best friend um, since we were like five years old, which is pretty crazy because we're 30 now. But, um, you know, we have always had this really, really crazy, inexplicable musical connection. Like, we love the same stuff, and I'm so honored that um, he's been so supportive of my music. You know, it's never a doubt ever that um, he's on board with my vision. And so, like I said, we grew up together playing in bands together. And Ethan grew up with us, too, you know, and he came all along a little bit later. And um, it's just it's just amazing how how life works and where it will take you and the people it will lead you to. You know, we are in grew up in a small town in Oregon and there's three of us guys who just love music not in a musical town and I mean these guys are great players and I needed great players for this music it's a it's tough music on this album and I I held nothing back making this album and um so I trust these guys love these guys they're like my brothers and then they knew David um who's an awesome drummer and it, it I almost you know I kind of for a little bit there, maybe stopped believing that I would ever actually get a band together for this stuff, um, for a live situation, you know. Um, but here we are, and it's been a, it's taken a lot of work, but I'm so proud of how it's turned out, and I'm so excited for the future. Wake up, work.
Survival technique of hoping and expecting things to be easy. Why does everything gotta be so much worse? Guess I'll get the sun. It's a heavy duty dark green veteran. Cast aluminum. Pistol grip with a thousand razor sharp teeth. Set it down and pull the cord. I'll be damned if she didn't start right. year or two that you know artists if they stop being creative they just die they wither away and I th I think unknowingly life is death is latching on to um, that sentiment you know I've I've felt like I was dying you know I had I had put my creative ambitions behind me and, you know, God made me an artist and this is what I do. This is what I love to do. And the best version of me is the artistic version of me. And I've had so much joy just saying that there's no reason I can't be that person I want to be. There's no reason I, I can't be an artist and and make my album and so you know like I said before I did everything I did I wrote all the music I wrote all the lyrics you know and I did all the instrumental pieces and you know as fate would have it you know some awesome people have come a along my path and made me a better musician and made my music better and made me a better writer and you know, I just hope that 
the band Kenyon and the album Life is Death and the upcoming albums and the gigs we play just make the world better in some way and just inspire people to be who they want to be and be who God made you to be, you know, and do what you want to do and and don't wait. Uh, you have amazing things inside of you. Don't wait. You know, be who God made you to be. Every time I say someone's good, I feel like I'm lying. Every time I say someone's good, I feel like I'm lying. Got the scary Like I'm lying They say no one's perfect, son But there's no problem